Welcome back. These are images coming to you from the Galwan Valley. Army soldiers were playing a game of cricket near the Galwan Valley. And I'm just reading out the tweet that's been actually put out by the Fire Fury Corps A, uh, Patiala Brigade Trishul Division, organized a cricket competition in extremely high altitude area and sub-zero temperatures with full enthusiasm and zeal. We make the impossible possible. That's the tweet, a game of cricket not very far, incidentally, from the place where that clash took place uh, between Indian and Chinese troops on the 5th of May 2020. Let me, in fact, go across to Pradeep Datta for more on this. Pradeep, tell us about the entire imagery uh, of what the army has actually put out and what's the message that they're sending out. See, it's a very strong message, not only to China, but also a strong message to that lobby that had been questioning uh, that uh, what India had been doing there at Galban because they were one who had been raising several doubts, aspirations about India having control over that area because they were saying that China had come inside. When you look at these uh, men from the Patiala Brigade of the Trishu Division playing cricket in Galwan, that clearly is indicator that India is very much control over the situation and how India has been able to push back China trying to uh, meddle into the affairs and needle India in Galwan. This is the same place where 20 half years back we saw that how 20 soldiers sacrificed their lives and 40 of the Chinese soldiers were killed. And that that time, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said, Mar, Mar, Kar, Mare hai. That means they had been able to kill the Chinese soldier. But unfortunately, our uh, lobby, the Congress Party, they had been asking for the support and they, uh, they, they continued asking questions uh, to the armed forces. But now I think they should watch these visuals that how army is having control over that area. The way they are playing cricket, that clearly indicates uh, they are in a commanding position and they have been able to push back China long back. So China cannot think of just coming over to the Indian side because this Indian army is totally different from what they had seen in 62. India is no more uh, that victim of the 62 defeated syndrome. Nowadays, Indian army is able to hit them hard where it's going to hurt them most. And that's what India had conveyed uh, during the Galwan battle when they were able to kill 45 of the soldiers or initial, initially. The China kept on denying that uh, none of the soldiers had died. But later on, they admitted, yes, some of their officers got killed in that battle that uh, was fought on those icy heights where the temperature is 30, minus 30 degrees centigrade. Even the yes. barrel of the gun cracks. And look at the determination. Absolutely, Pradeep. A picture of complete confidence. That's, that's the immediate takeaway from those pictures that the Indian Army has put out. All the very best to them. We'll, of course, slip into a short break for now. Thanks a lot for your perspective, Pradeep. We'll come back with more on the other side. Do not go anywhere.